everybody doing today? You guys got a new product? Yeah, sure back back it. that works really good, huh? Try that one out. Good. Lemon fresh, right? Lemon flavor. Lemon flavor. And where you from? I'm from Long Island, New York, Amityville. I, I couldn't have guessed. I'm the, I'm the Amityville horror man. Hey, 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 how's everybody doing on this Sunday afternoon? Uh, today I want to talk about a little bit of, about maintenance and how important it is. Um, certain kind of maintenances are good, like oil changes every 100 hours. Um, really important uh, thing to look out for is cleaning your water filters, okay? And if you have a hose reel and you're running from the home, into a buffer tank you should always have a filter before it goes into the buffer tank a lot of times people have stuff uh, come out of their lines they haven't used it in a long time you normally you just go up and hook up usually I try to get and turn their water on I want to check for pressure anyway so I let it run a couple you know 20 seconds clear the line out you do the best you can to keep debris out of the filters Okay, clean those filters going in, and then you should have filters coming out of the buffer tank. Bigger filters that kept capture everything. Keep it in the center. Very fine screen and a coarse screen. But if you let these things get clogged up, it takes away from your PSI. And what does that do? That causes damage to your seals and your valves. Uh, how do I know this? <laughs> well, I didn't clean my filter for over like six months and it got really bad and then I had low pressure at a home and my tank ran low on water so what did that do for me it crushed all the seals and cracked some valves anyway you have to pay attention to a lot of stuff when you're doing this and another thing uh, that's real good for main maintaining your equipment making it look new even your surface cleaners, they get that gray, whitish film on them. All you got to do is spray them down with some WD-40 and take a rag and wipe it off. It looks like the day you bought it, man. And the machines, keep those nice and clean. Everything that's clean, happy equipment, maintained well, is very well operated every day on a daily basis. But anyway, here's a little video on how to clean the filters and why. And uh, let's just get after it. All right, I'm done. See you tomorrow at work. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and include a link uh, of my motorcycle trip that I was in, on in July. This video in particular is pretty cool. It's the first day of riding. Uh, go all the way into Cherokee, uh, into the Smoky Mountain National Park. I stop at the Blue Ridge Parkway sign. It's just a really good day, and then the Cherahella Skyway is the road I take in, and then I have a time warp of the whole entire 53 miles at the end. Uh, I was staying in Teleco Plains, Tennessee. Uh, I have videos, um, just follow this link. It's the Adventures of Don and Susan, who is my, which would be my wife. And we have a little channel going there, and we're looking for some subscribers over there. So check out the motorcycle video, and what the hell, man, subscribe to the channel. We don't put a lot of videos on here, but when we do, hit that bell and you'll be notified. If you like motorcycle riding and nature and mountains, you'll love some of these videos. All right, I'm Don. Get after it, baby. Okay, let's look at the filters. All right, you can see this one here. It's got some debris in it. All right, and this is the water filters that are from the water source. They run over to there to the hose reels. All right, that goes into the buffer tank. Now, <clears throat> here's the filters here. I mean, you can see through those pretty good. Um, that one looks a little bit, eh, you can see through them. I mean, these filters are probably pretty clean, but let's go ahead and do them anyway. All right, and we'll see what they look like when I get them apart. All right, I'm done. Let's get after it.
Oh yeah. Time for the persuader. Everybody should have a persuader on their vehicle, in their toolbox, in their arsenal. See that? Oh, wow. Hmm. It's on there pretty good. We'll be right back. Okay, the persuader definitely worked. Okay. A little bit of debris in there. You can see the dirt up in the screen there. All right. Let's see if this next one's going to cooperate or not. Yeah, okay. All right. This one's pretty good. This is from the 150 foot run. We'll go ahead and rinse them out anyway. We'll be back. All right, if you got it, put a little bit of lube around the yellow o ring, and I also put some on the threads. This way, we don't have that problem where you got to have a wrench to wrench it off. And everything cleaned up real nice. See, so you can see through the screen, clean the container out, get all the stuff out of the bottom. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, let's have a look. See how clear that is? It's beautiful. All right, now we just got to move down to here. And uh, you're probably going to have to use the old magic jaws of life to get that off of there. All right, let's get after it. All right, let's get these bottom ones here. Okay, the first thing you do is shut the water off. Okay, both sides. Now let's see how cooperative this thing's going to be today. Okay. All right, let's look in the bottom of that. Some nasty stuff in there. You can see the stuff is getting caught. There's some shavings in there from something. But the filter did its job so now all we gotta do is clean it out and uh then we'll be ready to go all right all right let's see how this other one comes all right nice all right this one as you can see is not too bad one stays pretty good all right let's go ahead and get these things washed out and then we'll be right back all right now we got that all taken care of now what we're gonna do is put a little bit of this lube on the seal in here bit rub a little bit on there like that keeps everything nice and moist all right see how nice and clean everything is beautiful screens nice and good Put your screen in. There you go. Okay, let this water open a little bit. So you let it prime. There you go. Okay, 
that should be good. It's full of water. See, when you tilt this thing up this way, the water stays in the hose. It's just going to go gravity pulls it that way, of course. But it'll stay in there if you have it up and cupped. Put some lube on this thing here. Come on, baby. Some lube all the way around it so it's nice. All right. This is all preventative maintenance, guys. If your machine's starving for water at any given point in the game, let's go ahead and get this thing primed up. It's filling up with water. Very good. Make sure it's in there real tight. There you go. <clears throat> All right, we should be ready to go. Now, we'll go ahead and fire up both machines to make sure they're primed and ready to go to work for tomorrow. All right. You know what? Let's get after it, baby. Okay, I want to do uh, another little thing. You see how clean the surface cleaner is? It looks like it's never even been used before. Um, whenever your thing gets all white looking and dirty and old, get a can of WD-40 and spray it on there. It's like the machines. You know, these machines have, what do we got? 566.5 hours on that one. Um, and this one over there, let's see, I try to keep them equal because I do maintenance all at the same time. This one ran most of the week on the first week back. So this is 582. Okay, my point is, look how nice the machine looks. It looks nice and neat. You know, all I do is clean these with WD-40 once a week. and make sure I maintain everything real nice. It brings back that shine, too. It makes it look new. Plus, it keeps it protected. It keeps it looking new. I mean, the cleaner you keep stuff and the more you maintain them to the specs the longer it's going to last for you and you don't have any breakdowns you know what i mean and always try to have two of everything one two if that one says hey we're done then we go to this one you never have to stop working uh, i have a 31 inch mini mondu in the rack but i also have this one here it's ready to rock and roll the van needs to be cleaned out as you can see stuff's been thrown in there and Life is tough, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing. Let's fire this thing up. You always want to fire them up at a lower speed if you're not sure if they're primed. Let's check the uh, canister. All right, that one's not leaking at all. I see a drip over there, though, huh? All right, let's go over here and fire this up and see what happens. Want we'll to make sure you're not leaking as well. All right, let's turn it down a little bit. Check it out. It's just that easy. See that WD-40 is burning off my muffler there. <laughs> anyway, let's seal up. I don't see it dripping anymore. 
we'll give it a little snug with the wrench real quick and that'll duck it up button it up for us all right another thing is uh you know you always got to have everything you need see we got a full socket set here full wrench set we have extra new guns we have extra downstream injector hose this is our jumper hose this is a bad mo right here this turbo turbo nozzle gets uh this is like a weed eater on steroids anyway you, you can never have enough tools you know what i mean and then i upgraded the uh, mini mondu yesterday you know it comes with a half inch supply line when you buy it then it goes down to three eighths you know what i mean so we want the half inch half inch hoses kept the three eighths uh plug-ins on the machine because that's standard but everything is half inch for a better flow and then you know what happens when you go from thick to small in diameter you get more pressure so that's going to help uh, with a little bit more power with that eight gallons a minute all right and then i redid the other one as well i have another handle for that one i just have to change the end of it but i have i have this made up already i just didn't have the other handle with me this is half inch the other handles in the garage here right here and it needs to go to a half inch fitting on the end and that'll be fine all right i'm don from super blast and uh if you want any kind of pressure washing equipment if you're ready to uh step up to the pump spend a little bit of money like wesley did uh wesley got himself a nice rig one of the nicest rigs that's probably in the united states uh ameritech does not mess around there it is and it's all maintenance and ready to go you see any dripping yep it's dripping still all right we're going to put a torque on that real quick and we'll get it to stop i think you can see it I don't see no drip, do you? You can see through that screen though, look at that. Beautiful. All right, keep everything clean, keep everything maintained. If you love your gear, your gear is gonna love you. Get after it. Don here from Super Blast. My whole family gets after it. Even my dog gets after it. Watch this. Hey Sam, sit down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get after it. What do we do, hon? We all get after it. See that? Get after it. Mm -hmm.